the tractor is the essential tool that farmers use to do their job. The tractor operator must become very knowledgeable about his or her tractor, what it can and what it cannot do. He or she must understand the function of all controls and when they should and when they shouldn't be used. It is easy to assume that the tractor operator sees everything. That attitude will get you into trouble very fast. To be safe, you must assume that the tractor operator doesn't have any idea that you are in the area. Stay at a safe distance until you have eyeball to eyeball contact and the operator acknowledges your presence. The area between the tractor and a PTO driven implement is one of the most dangerous areas on the farm. Some call it the no zone when in operation. Don't enter it unless the tractor is stopped, the power to the PTO has been shut off, all moving parts have come to a complete stop, and the driver knows what you're going to do and has acknowledged it. If you're not familiar with a particular field or area, walk it first. Become aware of any hazards. If your tractor is equipped with a front end loader, you have another set of dangers to deal with. Always carry your load as low as possible. If your back wheels are somewhat light and bouncy as the loader starts to lift the load, add additional ballast to the rear of the machine. Be aware that adding ballast is not always the answer. Make sure you're not overloading the equipment. Farm workers have been fatally crushed because they didn't use the proper attachment to carry the big round bales of hay. The bales roll over on top of them. One option would be to use a spear type bale mover. On the other hand, if you use grapple forks, make sure they're the correct size to handle the bales you're moving. The master tractor driver keeps his speed down, especially when carrying a heavy load. The rig is already top heavy, making it easier to tip over from momentum and or centrifugal force. When approaching a blind corner, don't assume someone coming around the other way can hear you. They might be driving a rig as noisy as yours. Slow down. Don't drive any faster than you can stop if suddenly someone or something appears in your path. Keep in mind your own reaction time. The same is true when driving around curves. This is especially true at night. Know the stopping distance of your tractor and your load. If you need to cross a slope or uneven ground, slow down. Any irregularity in the ground might be just enough to roll the tractor. If you're going up or down a slope, don't depress your clutch or try to change gears. Always back up a slope, drive down a slope but back up. It will greatly reduce your chances of a rear rollover. Sometimes you have to work in inclement weather or after dark. Often the driver's visibility is greatly diminished. Cut your speed to a minimum. Stay alert for holes and ditches. In a thunderstorm, unless you're in a totally enclosed cab, shut the engine off, set the brakes, Remove the key and get off the tractor. If you're in an open field, get a safe distance from the tractor and lay down in the lowest ditch you can find. Never stand under a tree. If you're close enough, get inside a barn or enclosed vehicle. If you can hear thunder, you are within striking distance of lightning. Seek safe shelter immediately. Don't wait for the rain. 62 people die each year in the United States from lightning strikes. One third of all fatal tractor accidents happen on public roadways. One third. The problem, this sometimes happens when the tractor is not the right size for towing a certain implement. But most of the time, it's the other drivers who have little or no experience driving on country roads. That's why the tractor drivers have to not only be concerned about their own rig, but try to anticipate what the other drivers are going to do. 
don't try to keep up with road vehicles. Tractors don't handle well at higher speeds. And observe the maximum highway speed for the implement you're towing. Before you set out on the highway, make sure all your hazard warning lights, headlights, taillights, and turn signals are in working order. Be sure your SMV sign, the slow moving vehicle sign, is clean and visible. These will help provide advance warning for the other drivers sharing the roadway. Lock your brake pedals together so you'll have a dual braking system. If you don't and your foot slips, you might roll the tractor. If at all possible, try not to drive on country roads at night. Distances and closing speeds are very hard to judge when the other drivers can only see your lights. The other drivers may come up on you too fast to stop. It's their fault, but it's your life. Be careful before you try to get off the road. The unpaved ground may be very soft and you may end up rolling over. Also watch out for mailboxes. They are generally closer to the road in the country. The most dangerous part of driving a tractor on public roads is turning left when another vehicle is running to pass. Use your mirrors to keep track of the other traffic. Make sure all traffic behind you and oncoming knows that your intention is to make a left-hand turn. Use your turn signals and wait until the traffic stops Will allow you to make the turn safely. After a hard day at work, it's time to shut down. Set the parking brakes, try not to park on an incline, but if you must, set wheel chocks on each wheel. Put the transmission in neutral. Lower all implements to the ground. Slow the engine down as far as it will go, shut it off, and remove the key from the ignition. Wait until morning to refuel when the engine is cool. This section on the basic operation of the tractor is very important and we have a lot of information to review. Work hard to become a master tractor operator. When working near a tractor, always assume the tractor operator doesn't see you. Never enter the space between the tractor and the implement when the engine is running. If you are unfamiliar with the field, walk it first. Carry your load low with a front end loader. Don't overload. Don't try to move round bales of hay without the proper tools. Keep your speed down. It will reduce your chances of a rollover. In approaching a blind corner or curves, Slow to a speed that you can stop with in sight distance. Slow down when crossing a slope. In bad weather and or at night, slow down. In a thunderstorm, get off your tractor and take shelter. When driving a public highway, make sure the other drivers know your intentions. Don't get off a tractor without setting the parking brakes, lowering the implements, shutting the engine off, and removing the keys. 